All right, guys. Okay, good. Uh, good evening there. Okay, good evening. Basically, for the rest of you guys. Okay, group one to group five. All right. Okay, this is basically our our basically our alternative sessions there. Okay, my pre-recording sessions, which is I have to create back again this kind of classes because we have the situation today there. Right. Okay. So most of the lecture have the same situations. Okay, I believe there. Okay, I talk to our our what we call that. Uh, talk for our PS and also our PL like about it, Mr. Venue and also Mr. Tepo actually have been noticed about these situations. So uh, we are going to doing fully online classes, and I bet you guys also have been given also the form, which is majority of you guys will go into online sessions directly. But after a few weeks later on, directly if the system from those labs are going to be a bit more improvement there okay except the lecturing hall so if you guys will really want to see me back again in our sessions i would love to basically give some sort of like uh, consultations there okay uh, according to our assignments there right so those are the things that i'm going to be improvised in order to assist you guys how to develop basically more on your on your lesson and your skills there okay but we are actually going to continue our lessons in online hopefully because i believe it'll be more efficient for me to share my screen to share also my thought to share also my professional kind of uh, of of belief and also uh, what we call that um, advice there okay that can give you guys a bit more further on your understanding to develop your digital lesson skills so uh, that means that guys okay right now I want to recap back again for our brief for the assignment step first before I'm going to do some demonstrations there, okay? Which is not similar to what I did basically uh, for uh, last week kind of demonstrations, which is I actually done a little bit more caricatures but cartoon styles there, okay? Which is you guys can take a look back again to our um, uh, YouTube basically, uh, my YouTube channels, which is I've been great for you guys over here. So it's only 14 views, okay? If you check it right now, it's only a 14 view there, okay, for this session, uh, for this kind of session that I did basically. And I don't know whether you guys really interested to develop that skill, okay, from this kind of what we call a particular kind of methods. But this week, if you check it back again to a brief, directly to those brief, we have to go through with our assignments there. This is the starting for the assignments there, okay. So, uh, if you take a look back again to my kind of what we call that brief that I should have been given to you guys, I believe one of the students have been, I don't know, they're okay, have been sent it over those uh, PDF kind of what we call that samples there, okay. It's quite a surprise if uh, Dick Sun basically have sent it over. Okay, this is basically uh, Dick Sun kind of research, there, okay. So she actually have done a few number kind of research, but okay, if we check look closely right now, okay, there's a few things that we have to go through back again, especially on the quality of line. Okay, I always emphasize on the quality of line. This is basically for Dixon is only uh, for me is is a part of those research. Okay, but thought basically is a final stacking. Okay? It's not quite very presentable there. For me, it's not quite very presentable, sir. Okay? She can do better than this one. Alright, she can do better than this one there, okay? So those are the things that we have to go through that first. Okay, in order to develop this particular kind of assignments, I want to give you guys one sample of methods how you actually can execute them if you don't have enough kind of skill to imagine there, okay? imagine basically your kind of we call that caricature kind of what we call the illustration style there okay so we're going to do the same method that we did for the last two weeks of time or three weeks of time of digital prep but we're going to convert into those uh, methods into more caricatures or cartoon kind of styles there we're going to combine the image manipulation kind of concept with uh, what we call that with the, with the, with the drawings kind of methods there, okay, with the illustration kind of methods. So first of all, 
All right, if you take a look back again, okay, my kind of record a sample stacking, and most of the sample that I actually, one of the sample that I actually have been given to you guys, if someone need to draw something like what Dixon actually has done, okay, they must have a very solid kind of understanding how to construct the faces there, okay, the human faces into a more constructive, more cartoon, and exaggerate those kind of shape and structures there, okay, that's basically what you guys are supposed to do here right now, okay, for example there, right, okay, I'm going to check uh, what we call that, uh, use basically my kind of photos there okay because if i'm going to use my photos i'm going to have more kind of what we call that clear kind of understanding that i can actually give it to you guys how it works over here so i'm going to have some of those reference that i actually can get from mine there right okay hopefully i can get more further from here for example like this one there right okay make sure you Follow exactly what I actually have shown you guys how it works over here. Okay, first of all, I'm going to copy and crop this side directly. I'm going to go straight forward to you guys directly. Now, if I really want to use these particular kind of faces into my kind of what we call that sample of reference, okay. So put it to grade and map that first, right? Don't forget to save my files over here. Okay, I'm going to save the files that place over here with five. All right, this is with five uh, lettering and also practical from group one until group five letters. Okay. So the body part basically that we actually going to be construct together there okay so what i'm going to do here right now so i'm going to take a look at some sample that i can get from you okay uh human body there okay human body poses okay first of all there okay the human body there okay um but I think this is one of the little bit more okay, how about this one there right? A little bit more funny there, right? Okay? But it can be used there, right? Okay? Because at this stage I don't actually care enough of what type of body that I'm going to use to develop basically my kind of reference over here. So I'm going to use whatever that I can to develop that kind of understanding. Or maybe this one is a bit more better okay, for me to use. Okay. I can use whatever body that I want, alright? This is quite nice, okay? I can actually right, playing around with my... Make a jokes of it, right? I can make a jokes of it. Okay, caricatures, you have to remember one thing, right? Okay? It's all about how to not make jokes on yourself, but you can actually make funny kind of thing, right? Okay? Playing around with the structures and have fun with it and develop basically... some fun kind of looks and feels on our our designer okay so I I'm, I'm, I'm think I'm going to use that one okay but for those who really want to develop more on those skills okay this is basically some of the methods for those who cannot imagine really well how to develop your kind of work there, okay so I'm going to select this one there please okay inverse copy and paste right here the body i'm going to make a little bit more smaller but i'm going to distort a little bit there right because this is a cartoon version and caricatures there right so i have to distort a little bit but if you check look back in slowly closely directly later on even though i try to exaggerate them but still can manage to develop a proper kind of proportions okay a proper kind of proportions there Okay, check look back again. Even though we are going to color them up there, right? But I'm still going to use this particular kind of method there, okay, to work with it. Okay, transparency. So first of all, the heads cannot be too big. 
and it cannot be too small and okay, to make it even more cartoon styles of it there. Right? So what I'm going to do right now, okay, don't forget to save your files there first. Then of course I'm going to cut this head there, right? Okay? Because I don't want to make some distractions on here there, right? Okay? Right here. Okay, delete this one there first. Okay. Then I'm going to combine them later on, okay? Women body with the, my face there, right? Okay? So what I'm going to do right now. Okay, what basically Dick Sun actually have done is not wrong but not quite accurate. Why? Because it doesn't show a lot of method of understanding when she tried to draw her faces there, okay? There's a two way to develop the methods of these caricatures by maintaining the proportion of those faces without exaggerate using any kind of effects there, okay? Or if you can actually exaggerate on your own, go ahead, okay? But if you can't, okay, I'm going to use these ink brushes there, okay, to work on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to exaggerate that first. Okay, first of all, what I, what I can do, okay, Dick Sun, if you actually take a look at the video and the rest of you guys, please basically take a very good note on this one there, okay. So this one I'm going to put over here. Alright. Okay, take a look over here back again. Okay. This is what basically the dresses, which is Dick Sun actually have have used as a part of the guide, is great. But the problem is how she apply back again onto her methods of drawings. None of them were reflected her the way that she's are going to draw them back there, right? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to use some of those methods right here to develop basically back again to my illustrations there that's the research folder okay? if you cannot actually use those research to reflect back again the quality of your works there's no point basically you actually add the research in your PDF presentations your presentation has to be reflected basically your works and your reference and your research at the same time if you're not actually using your reference to guide you what's the point basically you draw back again okay that's basically one of the things that not accurate by what basically the sun have done okay so hopefully you can improve from that i will try to gather more information how to draw using this kind of line there right okay that's basically what i'm what i'm going to do there okay only you only right in, in this classroom that you can. thank you very much for joining right so now, what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to draw back again, see? How actually I draw those line works over here, see? Uh, this is basically what we're supposed to do there, guys. If you really want to learn to draw properly, this is what you're supposed to do. To draw in caricatures kind of styles there right you guys can see the the loose line that i create from here all right uh, this is what we call the cleanup kind of lines there right see the line works over here there right okay? and i know basically shuki can do better than this one there right okay in order to develop the quality of strokes there but what i want you guys to emphasize right now try to develop the proper kind of line over here create a very confident line at the same time so when you draw the structure there okay of those portraits that you're actually going to create into a caricature there make sure you create it right can you see can you actually take a look right now how actually i draw back again those lips mouth Okay, I'm simplifying the shapes of those strokes there, right? See, I'm simpli I'm simplifying those corner strokes there, okay, those strokes there. You see there, right? Simpli simplifying the strokes. And then I'm going to exaggerate a little bit on those elements that I saw, especially when I draw those ears there, right? I've exaggerated a little bit 
and simplify basically those structures and shapes. So right here, once you draw some reflections there, right, on those lines, uh, this is some reflections there. Improve your drawing strokes there, guys. Okay, right now, what we're going to do here, say I'm going to draw those body there, right? Okay? But if you check, look closely, I'm exaggerate the shapes there and simplify and modify the shapes back again. See? A lot of people doesn't have this particular kind of skills. They just trace from whatever they, they actually saw, but they don't have enough kind of information and understanding to develop back again those drawings. There. That's basically the problem that we have, a lot of people there. Okay, a lot of people have this kind of problems there, right? They just copy and trace there, right? But they don't have that kind of understanding to develop back again those kind of drawing according to those reference there. We are not basically tracing there, guys. I always, always remind you guys a lot before this year, right? We basically try to redevelop our drawing skills based on this particular kind of illustration styles there, right? Carry catches there. Okay, this is one way, not the only way for you guys to execute there, right? Okay, guys, clean up the line carefully and get the right kind of strokes there. This is what Dick Sun actually have haven't done basically for her research there. She just simply draw herself but it doesn't look like her there, okay? That's the problems there, right? If you take a look back again to my drawings over here, I'm talking about the line drawings there first. I've been talking about this line drawing for the past three weeks of time or four weeks of time there, guys. If you cannot make it right there first, when you're going to paint, you're going to have a lot of problems there. Most of your styles, when you draw them back, are going to be look a bit kind of like what you saw from Dick Sunday basically. Lack of understanding of quality of line there, okay? For graphic design students. So, Dick Sun, okay, make sure that you improve back again your drawing line and strokes okay and then carry catches is imitation tracking of a person face which we exaggerate exaggerate right okay, from actual photos and reference it should be recognizable okay? person you try to visualize Okay. So those are the things that okay. when I draw myself, even though in different kind of versions there are okay, they still are going to be look like me there, right? Okay. Even though I have a very strong kind of features there, okay, they actually have been show on my faces, okay, but still when I actually using my reference right here, okay. This one, right? Still, I can exaggerate more, okay? 
one way basically just now I just draw basically from reference without exaggerate them okay but I try to improvise the line at the same time here if you want to exaggerate your face make sure you draw properly you exaggerate properly and people still can see your faces that they have been drawn there right okay so what I can do basically okay for your next sessions later on maybe I'm going to borrow some of your friend faces I'm going to redraw back again where I can get it right okay, to draw and exaggerate those faces there so for me basically it's not fair I only using my faces to draw the right but I just want to show some variety of way of working at the same time there okay so now if I'm going to do I'm going to use liquify a little bit okay by using liquify to exaggerate faces you have to be careful with it okay because my faces have the long kind of structure there okay very square rich and, and long kind of structure there right and I can actually exaggerate those kind of faces here and still look like me okay but some of you guys maybe it's hard for you to uh, exaggerate your faces there okay because sometimes you're afraid uh, it doesn't look like the person that you're going to draw back again right okay if your uh, parents basically or your friends your sibling or whatever uh, what we call that your your friends when they look back again to your photos if they can recognize back again or oh, this is the person that that you want to draw right so that mean in you you actually in the right tracks okay even though uh, for the body part there okay I can actually exaggerate a little bit here so right now I'm using my super impose or full uh, image manipulations kind of skills uh, to develop basically back again uh, my uh, kind of what we call that reference over here okay other than actually we try to have fun with our creations always don't forget about the proportions there guys always don't forget about it there, okay i don't know what brushes that i use right now uh, i'm using just now i simply actually chose uh, the real all round flex there okay if i'm going to use ultimate ink back again why i'm choosing ultimate ink there okay one of the reasons is because i want to make sure that i can get a very solid kind of line there okay for examples over here okay this is basically my design number one just now there right when i create here i want you guys to take a look how actually i construct basically those strokes the strokes there guys okay, okay even though i'm using around 20 percent there right check look over here okay how I actually redraw them i'm not actually tracing those line there guys okay or reference there but i try to develop basically a drawing strokes over here graphic design drawing strokes okay even though this eyebrow I can exaggerate a little bit there how actually I get all these kind of ideas there guys go back again that's why we have those research but most students I always check look at the reference there okay when I actually look at the reference of of, of most of the students actually have fun okay in terms of find the reference you guys will champion there right but to use your reference to guide you to develop the proper kind of skills back again when you take a look at your reference uh, some of sample like this one there okay you're not very good at it why because you don't actually use your observations kind of understanding there look at things carefully to the rest reference and then you try to apply back again how actually they draw those uh, the curly kind of hair for example right okay? or, or or straight kind of hair like this one right okay? or maybe some sort of styles of the hair that style of the strokes there right okay? you're not actually studying enough from there okay check look over here we're talking about those line work for a while right okay then if i want to draw the nose itself we're talking about a lot of nose uh, uh what we call that last week okay okay draw the nose there guys okay how actually i exaggerate to draw the, this nose the lips itself there right here this is basically the lips if you don't uh, this is the feet there right how actually i draw those feet there right okay and then another lips here which is i don't have to combine those lines remember what i say yeah uh, last week 
if you actually want to design a leaf there okay into, into those drawings there don't combine those lines there okay if you combine those lines the leaves look like you paste it's on top of those on top of those bases there it look like you cut and paste there, the leaves there okay it doesn't look natural there right? so what i'm going to do right now i'm actually draw those bit using the line only here using the line there okay this kind of methods of line works there guys we need to practice that you need to spend time to practice yourself see practice yourself there guys okay, to work on it yes i can exaggerate more by not following those reference and all this stuff basically directly if you really really want to develop more understanding and skills you need to open up your mind first those are the first thing there, okay to exaggerate your face to have fun with it at the same time we actually as a designers we want to basically learn to develop and design back again our faces using this character style mm -hmm. that's basically one of the purpose why actually we i actually giving you guys these assignments over here i don't know whether you guys have done it before or not but i believe in our in this case there right okay, in our college or in this case there right no lecturer have done this kind of exercise or this kind of assignment there before okay i'm actually the one who actually write i i think i'm actually one of those lectures who actually want to give these exposures to the students why because this kind of skills can be made money okay you can make money out of it there right you can actually make a very instant money to develop this kind of skill if you can develop this kind of skills here. so i'm going to basically move over the head a bit there right but later on i'm going to uh, i'm going to uh, basically to rearrange all right but make sure when you arrange something that okay, the proportion would not quite skew or or distort the right okay? So you have to be careful with it, okay, on the proportion itself, the right thing when you draw. Now, what I can do right now, the right thing, I can reuse them back. Even though it look ridiculous, okay, I'm using a uh, women's body on my kind of caricatures designer, okay. So let's just say I'm going to draw some sort of like a uh, wristband like here, the right thing, and then the hands. When I draw, I exaggerate a little bit, the guys, see more cartoon kind of stuff there for for what we call that our time that we have right now there guys uh, it's hard it's not not it's hard but basically it's quite very uh what we call that tedious okay for you guys to learn basically back again if you seems doesn't have time to improve your skill on your own there right okay but what i actually can share with you guys right here right now there right if you can actually check look how actually I draw or design basically back again uh, based on those reference there okay how actually I uh, improvise those kind of shapes there by not just tracing them there, okay, all the time okay hopefully you guys can actually learn from my kind of demonstration here develop back again your skills that's the thing that guys okay how we actually I get this kind of graphic kind of line that works on that the confident kind of line that one of the reasons I'm using reference there to help you guys to understand more further on how to develop the skills okay guys that's the first thing that you should apply and do there okay to develop your line works caricatures okay even though we can actually paint stars okay I know I can actually write teach you guys how to paint there okay but I will give you guys some examples there before but the problem is the uh, guys a lot of people want to learn to paint but the line works is quite sucks there right understand what I mean there eh? okay if you really want to learn properly digital illustrations learn to, to draw in the correct way that is learn to clean up the line L S. Uh, what we call it at least basically okay, if you cannot draw really well on the portrait fine kind of portrait kind of styles there at least you can draw cartoons in the proper kind of strokes there right this is one of the cleanup line loose cleanup line 
that have a very solid kind of strokes there. Okay, heavy kind of strokes, they can give a more graphical kind of looks. Remember guys, you were graphic design students. So I'm talking about the graphic, kind, graphical kind of line strokes there. They can be adapted into your schemes. Okay? Alright? You guys understand? How it works right now? Everything that we, we've done is going to be easy if you really, really basically apply what you've learned there. Sarah, welcome right here to our class right here. Alright? You saw basically right now those uh, demonstrations that I did, right? For today. You want to try? To develop on your own face there right now exaggerate a little bit and draw the strokes using the ink brushes there before i'm going to ask Shoki to demonstrate also there okay just to make sure that you guys have those kind of interactions there and then uh, because we have only three students over here okay, at least the rest of your friend can see basically the result from our lessons for tonight there right oh you're outside there right okay all right Shoki, how is it but well, but but thank you very much for joining the Randy. Shuki, you want to share? Okay, you can prepare the right. Okay, so we can see how actually at least you can show us basically how actually you draw the strokes on your own there using the heavy kind of strokes to develop your own faces there. Okay, she uh she think there okay. Make sure you prepare you outside or you actually in a in in the house there right. You think? Just now we have an, another two or three ladies there, right? What happened to them? Okay, Chitin, please, please be prepare also, right? Eh? So, after you actually get those kind of, okay, before you, you prepare, right? Eh? After you get the right kind of basically stroke for you guys to start with your paint styles there, right? Okay, what you can do right now, okay. Normally, right, okay, I'm going to duplicate this. Why actually I'm duplicate? Because I afraid that sometimes, even though I can actually draw a paint very well, but I always love to make some backup kind of what we call that files there. So that means that right, for example, right here. I'm going to merge these layers there and I'm going to put it on the side and I'm going to use as reference when I'm going to paint okay when I'm going to paint that okay so that's the thing that I always do there okay so right now if I want to paint there okay if you want to paint in grayscale go ahead if you want to paint in colors yeah be my guess right okay so of course right okay, if I want to paint in uh, what we call that in colors there okay first of all i have to make sure that all the line works have been combined like this even though i'm using a loose line there okay but because some of you guys were still not familiar with this particular kind of style there so what i'm going to do make sure i actually going to cover all the all these areas that might going to be have a very loose a little bit on the selections areas there even though i love to use this kind of line because we need to give you give some of this student also a bit kind of uh, basics kind of methods back again to select and the shapes the structures there because normally when you draw quite fast directly okay, you avoid all this kind of uh, all this kind of loose kind of line there okay you might going to have a very natural kind of way of working there okay so if i have selected if i actually have been covered the whole areas then i'm going to use this magic one there okay for example and it's this magic one there and i actually write in reverse there like this okay check a look back in the selections areas the selection areas basically okay some of the areas over here i'm going to use basically shift to select back again these areas there okay so to look there right and cover some of the areas there simple as that 
you can use whatever selection tools that you're going to use to work on it. Okay, this is basically one of my selection tools that I'm going to use. Why actually I select this part directly okay, and deselect some of the negative space? One of the reason is because I want to make a better selection areas like this one. See, when I actually create the selection areas like this one. I can cover some of the areas quite easy later on. For example, there are I want to draw a faces there only. Or I want to paint the faces there only, there are Faces only without those beard there, right? And my mustache there. For example. faces and of course the body there right <coughs> of course this part there right okay? okay I'm using alternate buttons to deselect some of the areas over here okay. same goes to this part okay Even though we can paint the whole thing, okay, without using the selections, only one selections area there, okay. But I want to give you guys a bit kind of a bit more proper kind of understanding or proper kind of process of paint kind of stuff there. Okay. The body itself, okay, from here there, right? Uh, this is basically the body part, right? Some beard a bit. So the this part there right here eh? so I'm going to deselect the ar these areas deselect these areas deselect these areas there right and of course this part okay the leg itself there and the shoes there so we're going to paint it around the shoes there right eh? so what I'm going to do right now I can basically bring over alright so like this part there first okay copy and paste there okay only faces there to create it right so what I'm going to do right here select all okay select this layer of faces there first I can paint it right okay Okay, what color that I'm going to use there, okay, to paint? Select the right colors there first for my skin tone, for example here, there. See? Uh, the beard later on, maybe we can actually color there, right? Okay, now basically the faces, okay, the body part there, okay, what I can do, I can deselect this area there, guys. Only a bit there, okay, and some of the parts over here that I'm going to use there, okay. This part I'm going to add later on. So, what I'm going to do right now, okay, this part over here. <coughs> so, a bit kind of sloppy based basically on my methods there, okay. Copy and paste, which is uncover basically the areas of the beard there right okay but if you take a look at the back there okay i cover some of the areas over here on the different layers there guys okay sloppy little bit there okay who say basically i'm perfect i'm not perfect there guys okay i also play tricks a lot from here so the colors of hair are going to be brown i'm not going to use black there guys boring there guys okay if we still using all the natural colors there okay I'm going to make a little bit more modern kind of styles, okay, or maybe modern kind of color methods there, okay, in order to develop basically and delete this part, okay, because the different layers there. So what else there that we can do from there? Before we're going to paint there, guys, okay, make sure you add the base colors there first. Now the body over here, okay. Of course, I'm not going to select. I'm going to select this part there first. Oh, sorry. I'm going to select this, not to, to select this part at first. 
okay only the body they write and the what we call that uh, the slate and whatever that we call that right okay from here so what I'm going to do I'm going to copy paste okay a lot of layers there okay a bit I'm not going to use that so what colors that I'm going to use there right now the red uh, a bit more pink there right okay alternate backspace there see I'm coloring basically the body there guys see the body itself but cover between the layers the different layers there so the next one there okay the shapes that I'm actually going to use just now I actually leave it over there okay I'm not actually change anything from there so now the this part there okay that I will need to select there okay the glasses there okay the 3d glasses there so what I'm going to do copy and paste see? then I'm going to color them back white colors there first there right I've taken my 3D glasses just now. So then this part there, okay, I'm going to do some selections. They're going to be what red in color, right? Yeah, red. And this one, the base color are going to be blue. Alright. Okay, the base colors there. There you go. The, you you get those base colors, and of course the feet there. Okay, you want to make it a bit more proper kind of what we call that base colors there. Even though it's very small, minor kind of uh, elements there, right? Uh, maybe on the faces there. So I'm going to put these white colors there. I forgot about this goatee there, right? Okay, I think the right name. Okay, select the colors there back again, color them back there, right? This one delete there, okay? Yeah, the go key there, right? Okay. okay. Basically you got all the base colors there first before you're going to paint them back there guys. Okay, you can use whatever techniques that you want, you can color one by one and, and leave it layers, okay? It's up to you guys okay, how it works. I just provide you guys some methods that actually can be used. But you guys can also use your own methods as long the results are going to be the same. Four examples there, okay. The shadows line and the strokes there, okay. This is basically very important there, okay. The guide that you have from your reference should be applied back again to your works. One of the way that I'm going to do, okay. Remember the method that I actually have shown you guys there before using soft brushes, there, right? Okay, soft brushes. Now, it's just a flow, and I'm going to exact. I'm going to increase those uh, tone and find where basically the highlight and shadows. I'm going to focus on the shadows there first. But before that, make some selections areas there, and start to paint the shadows there first. See, maybe I'm going to add a bit more tone over here. And start the size. Take a look at the shadows from those faces there. You must be able to analyze and take a look carefully to the, those areas there. And of course, we need to improvise a little bit. Okay. There. Okay. Now, where basically the highlight, normally the highlight came from this side, over here a bit. Got this side also has to be as a shadow there. Same goes to this side there, okay? Always use a proper reference for you guys to work with it. So if I want to make more, more tone there, right, okay? There, right, see? So that's why this is basically quite very tedious if you not actually practice on your shadings when you work with a grayscale kind of tone there before there right? looks simple there okay but it's not that simple there guys if you don't practice yourself there 
this part basically has a shadow there guys okay this part also should have the, some shadows a bit there okay because the highlight came from front there okay because of those screen monitor screen from my uh, reference over here okay using soft brushes there first to uh, to what we call that practice your paint kind of styles there after that you just highlight a little bit to check okay this part actually have the highlight a little bit there okay a bit over here change the size there's a highlight over here there guys mm. and some highlight over here and some highlight basically over here there okay I don't know whether you guys can see that I can saw from here so try to have this is basically a basic kind of tone style there, okay using basically soft brushes that works if you take a look closely you can actually get the right proper kind of tone for every single details that you want to paint the right okay? the lips itself normally i can use different kind of colors there because our lips is going to be exaggerated a little bit are, are going to be in different colors there so either i'm going to use oh, sorry not this colors there okay, a little bit kind of light kind of orange but not too much because i don't want to have this person look a bit more like you're wearing lipsticks there already but the lips kind of what we call that colors has to be a little bit kind of contrast then the the skin tone of the face is there remember that okay take a look at your lips huh? is it going to be the same as the skin tone and no that right but i can actually use this shadow kind of uh, this is kind of colors there for the shadows a bit there right just to blend between those shadings there and from the skin tone of those lips there at the same time there guys you don't forget to do some selections areas otherwise they're going to be colored outside those space there right okay okay that mixed up the colors there mixed up those colors there guys That's basically one of the tricks that you guys can actually use soft brushes to paint. This is basically a very uh, basic kind of method that works now. Uh, those shadows of those hair, okay? Check look at the shadows of the hair directly. So what I'm going to do, check look here. So I'm going to paint directly. I'm not going to paint like this one, okay? Paint according to the strokes of those hair. Okay, the movement of the strokes, there, guys. We're not trying to imitate the whole thing look realistic there guys, okay, but simply fight them. Same goes to the beard there, okay. It's a bit tricky for the beard there if you're not actually uh, get used on working on the shadows there. Because our mind always play tricks on this there, okay, because you're not actually analyzing this the, the methods of visualizations there. That's basically a lot of things that happens okay around uh, students like you guys over here okay if you're not actually uh, been practiced a while okay how to develop the proper kind of way to to create those kind of illustrations there guys okay that's basically why you find a hard way for for you to redraw there okay take a look over here okay this is not a proper some of the methods that on the strokes but i can actually really adjust them back a very quick kind of what we call that uh, experiments on those strokes there okay take a look over here save the files there first so we have the shadings of those hair and also uh, on the beard and also on the skin tone okay if i want to make the hair a little bit more like a cartoon style take a look over here there, guys i can actually write create the shapes using those lasso tools like just like drawing 
same goes to this beard over here shadows came from this side okay that mean are going to be in this part right here on the shadows there for example like this one i'm going to create some shadows shapes over here all right and some negative space on the shadows so all this kind of stuff right here need to be kind of experienced but if you know basically the shadows i'm going to improvise and also lock the shadows kind of shapes there copy and paste you cannot see anything from here there right see the shadows kind of line what i can do i can use multiply there we have some shadows there right here and now can actually right reduce the opacities to blend it up a little bit right okay. then later on okay i can use the brush line brush line like this to develop some of those highlight there see uh, so i mix them up those kind of line there guys okay not just applying whatever that you saw there, okay we design things that think as a designer okay at this stage at this stage that you work on it don't think as a layman or someone who actually wants to learn how to use the tools only there we design things i show you guys how it works by using all this kind of proper kind of way of design elements there okay using those kind of styles there now if this part they basically there okay when you do some selections of course okay there's some reflections there guys okay how actually i'm going to do on that so reflections there please for example like this one copy paste this area is there I can actually use multiply. Can I use multiply over here? Did not work. Soft light. Screen. It doesn't work there, okay? So what I can do from here, the best thing, give you some selections here. Because it doesn't work with those effects, maybe because of the colors itself. So what I can do using soft brushes back again. Yeah. See? This red color is there. See? Selections there, okay? And what else thing that I can do from here? Some reflections there, right? Highlight there. Yeah. it's a very simple kind of way but there's a lot of way that we actually apply transparency if you want to directly to work on that i can actually develop basically some of those shapes of those eyes there like this one if i want to directly shapes of those eyes there so we're talking about those element and principle of design back again and then what i can do right here using soft brushes to paint them right okay just look like the eyes there right that so develop those creativities from here there guys not just following whatever that you saw there okay creativity by using the tools there okay to work with it so now uh, it's time for me to paint basically this body there okay even though i actually write using very uh, okay shadows right here so the shadows fall off right here because the highlight came from there, right? To balance them up. Same goes to this part there, right? And then the shoes there, right? Here. Simply, simply find there, right? Here. And then the highlight a little bit right here and right here there, right? And a bit kind of highlights over here. See? Okay. Okay, bit there maybe right here a bit there right here on the highlight there right if i want to make it more shining there okay see there right so i can redesign that so all this kind of great stuff there guys okay you never thought that before okay you just actually right look into one particular kind of perspective of whatever that you're doing okay on your own there okay at that time there okay so right here right now if you take a look back again we have complete there basically i can actually done a few number kind of things right here okay 
So of course, every single white colors they always have a shadows there. Okay, they apply the shadows a bit, right? See, right here. So my shadows basically were not basically bla black, but a bit more like a purple there, right? Save the files there back again because they show basically the form of the whole concept of those visuals there. So what I can do from here. I want to create some shadows okay this part here, right using purple and then that right adjust the size of these brushes and create some shadows over there what else I can actually do from here same goes what I did basically before when I actually write construct basically those visual for you okay, okay on the background there right so what I can do right here I can actually fix them up with using those hard round brushes see okay to present it more better on the presentation on these visuals there okay with the backgrounds there right you see I become a bit more like a super kind of drag Superheroes there, right here. Okay. Drag kind of superheroes there. Fun basically to work with it, right? Okay. To play around with myself, okay. I always, always love there, right? To work on that. But we play hard there, basically, to work with it. Okay. Some blur effects. If you guys have learned those photographic effects, right? Okay. This is some blur effects there. So, what else that we can do from here? Okay, how about the shadows there back again? Okay, uh, do some selections there first. I'm going to add another layers over here. Alright. Purple kind of tone. Then hmm, shadows there. Okay, cover the shadows there part. Using purples there guys. Who thought there okay to use purples there? Okay? I don't know whether you guys have learned that before. But from my classes over here, uh, so I'm going to show you guys basically how to use purple for the shadows without using uh, the natural kind of colors there. See, they give more varieties of your design at the same time, right? Okay, when you paint them up there, right? Yeah. Okay, without the purples there, they're going to be a bit more natural there, okay? But I'm using purples there to look something like that. So, Basically, we complete those kind of illustrations there, okay? Uh, one of those styles that we actually can create for our assignments there. Okay, for our first assignments there. Okay? But right now, I combine the whole research during these sessions there. We never saw basically where the research came from, but you know basically, okay? But because I don't document my research there, but I will give you guys some example from the best students that I had there, right? But if you check, look closely, if you go through basically back again for some of the things that you you saw from your friend like Dick San just now, her research quite good, but the execution is weak there, right? So we don't want to have that kind of thing happens among the students there, right? Okay? Because if you actually can find a good research, that means okay, you must be able to have a very good kind of quality over that can reflect back again your kind of styles there okay can be reflect back again okay otherwise there's no point basically we find research but we can actually follow or improve from what we actually have been searched there right here there before okay that's basically the things that we lack of seeing from the students a lot of people basically knowing how to find some research but they don't actually reflect it those research to their works there that's basically they have happens all the time there right so make sure you guys have that kind of uh, what we call that discipline that you actually develop before you graduate there right? I'm not saying I'm the most uh, what we call the efficient kind of person there, okay? but I'm also have my laziness my own demon basically that I have, that I have to fight all all day every time there right but 
the skill that actually have been given to you guys, the methods, the demonstrations there, is basically most of those skills that have been developed for so many years there, right? But of course, there are always people that better than me outside there. But what I did basically is how actually I make a living out of it. Alright, that's basically what I've done there, right? Okay? And of course, I can improvise them, I can actually choose whatever styles that I want there, okay, to develop the skills there. But this kind of methods, this kind of skills that I actually have been shared to you guys, you guys can use outside there to develop also your own, your own, and you actually can make money out of it at the same time, okay? If you find the right kind of customer there, right? That's all. Okay? Any questions? Any kind of inquiries there? Alright guys, just now basically I don't know what happens but I already record the sessions, don't worry there right again. So Shuki, are you prepared alright? You guys can check me back again later on. Yeah, uh, th that's a good thing about those OBS. Right, okay, because I can record the sessions over here without using those Google Meet there, right? Okay, I'm talking, second, I'm talking, and let's demonstrate. But uh, we can get this kind of what we call that. We still can get that kind of what we call that uh, recordings there, right? Okay. All right, Shuki, are you prepared, all right? Yes, sir. Okay. Please uh, share your screen. So we can see right how it works there. So I should yeah, try. Call. I should try a little bit. Okay. The um, image was is actually, actually not. Normal. Okay. If you can find more, more better of your reference later on, is better there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because you have that kind of particular kind of skill that that actually can be developed more further on this particular kind of style, there, especially caricature. Okay? If you can get what we call that if you can practice more you can apply and develop more proper kind of you develop more on your faces roughly right okay? then you <laughs> will, will you will have that kind of a good kind of encouragement state to want to develop that kind of skills there. Okay. Uh, if you if you can actually in develop more further on your skills there okay based on this kind of particular kind of styles there draw more on the caricature style cartoon style there, okay based on other people faces other than your own faces or if you have to use your faces also it's okay there okay because when i actually write practice my mm -hmm. caricatures there I, I always draw myself there first i study myself there first before i'm going to continue to draw somebody else there right okay the best thing is if you can actually try to draw a famous people's but you can find a people that are close to you, your relative, your friend, they try to learn to exaggerate and redraw back again their faces using, uh, nowadays we have Photoshop okay, or whatever kind of what we call that uh, application that you have, you can actually draw on top the layers to get the more accurate kind of look and feels. It will help you to engage more understanding from there. Okay? But if you will want to test basically your mm -hmm. skills without draw on top of the lace, go ahead with your render, okay? Uh, because uh, I'm also had that kind of uh, particular kind of practice all the time to, to exchange basically the level of skill that I can develop from time to time there, okay? But sometimes when you get all this, you have a lot of more things that you have to done other than this particular kind of stuff or, or, or epic kind of works, it's going to challenge you all the time there later on you, uh, for some time that works and especially on my age track but i still can get it proof on it but you guys who have those kind of skills that can be developed there okay please basically practice a lot there eh, guys okay because scary catches oh I don't know why basically the line is not stable. Hopefully it's not basically from CITC kind of uh, what we call that a line. Okay, hopefully it's from mine there, right? So right now what kind of brushes that you use there, Shiki? I'm using Sony 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 Sony
Yeah, yeah, so a drum drum drum. Drum. Hmm. Can you clean up the line a little bit there so we yep, can yep. see how far you can actually can go through from there? Mm -hmm. uh, how you draw those hair line? Okay. For me, if I want to want to draw those hair line. Try to clean up the line that uh, should be there, okay, using those uh, ink and pen brushes there. Right, right. Uh, zoom in a little bit there, right? It's too dark, uh, too, too big there, okay, 80% there, okay? Try to reduce until 20, 25% there, right? Hmm. Don't forget to zoom in there, right? Some areas, <coughs> some of the details or the eyebrow or eyes, you have to increase, reduce a bit the size there, right? Maybe. <laughs> Depending there, right? Try to get more comfortable also on your way of working with the strokes there. One of the things that I love to see other people do some demonstration and drawing. So I can also learn also from there. Okay. That's why when we want to learn something, my kind of methods I always show there, right? Okay? And the rest of you guys also the same also have to have that kind of methods of observations there, okay? Look at things carefully when you draw there, okay? They will give you more kind of options there okay and open up on your mind and thoughts okay to see how people draw there okay you actually can zoom in this uh what we call that uh shooty there okay to get more proper kind of line from there that's why i always zoom in my line there, okay and instead of just using only one instead of one point of view there okay, to work something If I may basically share my screen over here. Alright. If I want to draw something like that, okay, for example, if I'm not just want to show you guys how actually I will draw those kind of strokes of hair there, right? Okay. What I can do, okay, for example, stay right. So I'm going to draw those hair line, for example, like this. Okay, zoom in a little bit there, right? Okay, uh, draw those nose there, okay, the eyes, and then the lips there, right? Okay, try to get a proper kind of strokes there, okay, or the, the time that works on that, and try to redraw and redesign a few number kind of styles there, okay, and then until you satisfied with it there, right? Okay, those basically what can help also, okay. To get more proper kind of line I think you have this kind of skills there actually okay, okay so I don't know whether you actually are going to be work on your FYP in the last questions if you can actually manage dragging I think it's really more advantage for you to shine on your final year projects there right yeah yeah it's really more shiny okay because most of the final year projects, okay, people basically, even though you, you, you need to find some of the titles, some research, right, get works on that, but you emphasize on illustrations, you will have more advantage, like, because people always love to see illustrations, though, other than just core design like, or pure design only, there, right? So illustration design is very, quite an advantage for most of the students who actually can apply properly on the uh, research on the titles or whatever they choose to okay, to give more kind of look and feel for your presentations. <laughs> so 
for the rest of you guys, okay, you guys can take a look how actually your friend over here. Okay, after I upload that again, okay, how actually she try to manage to develop those kind of line drawings, right? Okay, to clean up the line, to draw more proper kind of graphical kind of look and feel of her caricatures, okay, guys. Okay, that's basically our main objective, other than paint styles that need to run that you actually can explore there, right? All right, uh, Chi Teng, are you prepared, all right? If you okay, if you prepare, okay. So, so Shuki, okay, thank you very much for your demonstrations there. You can see basically yeah. where you can hit it from there. So, good luck and improve there, right? And develop more, all right, okay? To see yeah, okay, okay. how actually the result going to be, okay? Experiment a little bit there, okay? And you actually. Okay, okay use that experimental kind of line that you actually develops as a part of those research at the same time there okay so can i can i do like painting kind of um, style yeah, after i draw the lines yeah, you can, right? yeah of course you can right yeah yeah okay so but try you. to find these two different kind of styles there before you submit or decide or you can actually submit both if you want to okay okay, okay. thank you there right Chiki. All right, you think? Okay, you think, okay. What you have right now is a normal kind of drawing there, okay? But it's not, it's not a caricature there. So what you need to do basically right now, before you're going to draw them back there, okay? Please compose your your body and your head together into more like an exaggerated cartoon kind of stuff that was ready just like i did just now that day before you can do it whatever and when you draw look carefully to your faces when you draw i don't know how actually you draw them right do you actually draw on top of the layers or you just draw based on those reference that you put aside there right yeah, I, I, draw I draw on a layer. On a layer, okay? I, I, yeah, okay, yeah. when you draw on the layers, it doesn't supposed to look like this. It doesn't look like you there. Alright? So I know yeah. basically yeah. you have the different kind of level of skills from Shuki. So what I recommend you, draw properly your face there first. And try to compose your faces and your body together before you're going to draw them. And try to rearrange that should uh what we call that cheating there, right? Oh, and, yeah, you, yeah. and then if you can find more proper kind of head and the hair before you draw, and then you actually can improvise those drawing line if you want to, if you can get the proper kind of proportions. That proportions have to be take care of. Us. And when you draw this this uh your face, make sure you draw properly lah, to make sure that we can see this is you when you draw that, okay? Not other persons there. Right now, I see other persons that you draw. Not the same as the, same as the photos there, right? Okay? Chitin? Okay. Can you do it for me right now? For us to, okay, to see the okay? How actually it works? When you compose mm -hmm. your body and your heads together, they exaggerate a little bit and redraw them. Try to work on it, eh? Chitin? You don't need to distort your faces first, right? Okay? Just crop them properly, make it into the head a bit more bigger than the body, that's all. And then draw them back. Right? According to those reference. Don't draw beyond those reference there. Right now, when you draw, it doesn't look like you there, right? Simple as that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You saw how many times basically I draw back again those faces, draw properly the okay? Check the uh the your kind of what we call the matters are going to be like a the digital caricatures portrait, not cartoons there, okay? Because you have to redraw back again based on the proportion, the right proportion there first. And where's the body there, right? Find the body as well there, right? And try to find, try to shoot more photos of yourself that has some more clear kind of faces, right? 
Okay? Yeah, uh, this one also quite good there, right? Yeah, this one there, right? <laughs> Very clear kind of faces there. We just crop the face there first. Properly. With the with the what we call the ponytails that you have on the on the neck, the okay, back of the neck. And then you redraw them back. Then crop that first. Crop the head first there, okay? You saw just now how actually I create those uh, cropping there, right? Uh, crop the head there first, okay? Properly. Zoom in there, right? Huh? Okay, copy and paste to another, uh, what we call that, uh, valve there, right? I think you have to uh, prop the neck also at the same time, okay, before you're actually going to use another body that I okay, to join together there, right? Crop the neck. When you want to crop the neck careful with the head, right? With with the hairline there, okay? Okay. Make sure you don't actually you don't actually crop some of the important part of your head there. Right? Otherwise, how actually are you going to refer it basically later on? Right? Are you sure you want to crop like that? Ah? <laughs> yeah? You cut also your hair there, okay? Don't cut the hair there, right? Otherwise it doesn't look like you later on. Okay, look carefully to your reference when you want to crop them, okay? Don't just simply crop them because you the one who actually going to draw back again your faces there, okay? See some of the hairline that you saw from there? Just select the whole hair there, okay? That actually can show your faces. Basically, you can actually crop the whole things there, okay? And then you uh, combine basically on, on different kind of what we call that body there, okay, later on. Because all those space that you want to crop, basically you can use them back when you want to draw. Make sure you know where to crop and how actually you're going to draw them back later on. Because we don't want you to draw that based on your cropping areas there. We want to draw based on your reference. Remember that. Okay? So whatever that you're going to crop, make sure you can reuse them back later on there okay to make more proper kind of uh, what we call that uh, drawing for your faces there for your head there right okay? that's the things there right okay cheating don't just simply crop something and then you just trace them back and draw those lines there okay <laughs> work on it there right Take a look some of the details that you actually can copy later on there. I think back of the hair from the left side also you actually can crop them back there right now. Huh? Even though this is not on my face also, I can actually take a look there, okay? Come on that chitin, okay? You can select the whole thing there from there. Why you have to crop like that there, right? Select there, right? Okay. You think what are you wait, wait, waiting for there, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Look at your faces. Look at your reference. Check look where you're going to draw. How actually you're going to draw that and crop the area that you want to draw. When I crop my face just now, okay, am I actually crop those things uh, accurately? Uh, accurately, no, they're okay. But I improvise the thing that I saw back again when I draw that, okay. What are you trying to do right now, right? Did you think there, right? I just ask you to crop there, right? What are you trying to find from there, there, right? Just crop lah, the shapes and then copy and paste into another body. That's all there, right? And make sure you adjust the size of the head at the same time there, okay? You think? Hopefully it's right there, okay? Hopefully you're doing it in the right way there, okay? I don't know how actually you draw the, the hair later on because we need to find a proper way to draw the hair, okay? Make sure that it looks like your hair, not like a like a, some kind of like a weird kind of hair later on there. Now where's basically the body that you think? Find the body there, right? Remember, mm -hmm. okay, if you want to develop those caricature styles, the head are going to be bigger than the body there, okay? That's basically the tricks. You saw basically how I did this, basically me, my drawing just now. Try to find and also get the proper kind of positions for your body there. Right? Make a full body there, not only small body or one half body, okay? Full body there, right? The challenge is find another body there, okay, that you actually can play tricks on it. There's a lot of reference in Google that you actually can use other people's body to paint their eyes to, to, to compose them. Make some actions there, make some some posts there, not a boring kind of post there, right? Hey Chitin, take you take a look over here, Chitin. Yeah, okay, okay. Alright, take a look over here, you think? So this is basically your head there, right? What's the problem that we have here, right? Okay? You keep cropping all those kind of ridiculous kind of shapes there, for what there, okay? Take a look over here, how actually I create there, okay? Why actually crop these areas there? Because I want to draw the hair right now, later on there, okay? I want to draw basically this part there, okay? That show basically your hair. Alright, if I crop those hair basically right here, they are not going to be look like you there, okay? And it's going to find a hard way for you to redraw back again your face. And if I want to crop this part, I can crop if I want to make a bit more weird kind of way of working with this kind of shapes. But if, it, if I don't want to write, I just can copy and paste that place. Okay, like this one scale a little bit there and then I'm going to open up this particular kind of body there right see the same body that I used just now face right here bring to the back I can exaggerate there distort a little bit there right okay stretch a little bit and of course the position is not right right what I can do from here I can flip these pictures there. See? And try to try to construct according to those proportions there, right? And you see that you think? Yeah, right. Alright. So now what I can do from here, if I want to what we call that redraw later on, okay, the the, the, the neck and whatsoever, okay, what we can do. First of all, okay. I don't have to exaggerate that first, right? Okay? I just draw that first, your face there, right? Okay? Take a look how I actually draw them. Find the proper way right, to draw. See? How many times I actually show you how actually you draw it? How to draw that first? Okay, this one basically. 
I can going to use the line only there, right? I don't have to draw all such all those kind of details that this. The eyes over here, take a look at the eyes there, right? How actually I draw them. And then these glasses there back again. I can draw these glasses a little bit more bigger if I want to. But I don't want to. Okay, the nose there just now. When you draw the nose, why the nose look weird there, right? Take a look how I draw your nose there. Look carefully now when I actually write, show you guys how it works there. The lips. You draw your own lips also quite weird just now. See? And then I'm going to draw the neck, uh, the, 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 what we call the faces, the jawline. Slowly draw them, right? Okay? Carefully uh, clean up the line there, okay? And then right now, this is the glasses there, right? I'm using only line works over here there first. The eyebrows there, when I draw those eyebrows there, see? Even though you cannot see the eyebrows over here, try to take a look there, right? How actually I solve this kind of problem for you? when I draw and now I draw the hairline there right see the ears were not going to be clear enough with this kind of drawing there right so what I'm going to do I'm going to improvise a little bit uh, they're going to be the neck over here there's the neck over there you see that you think yeah. All right. So now this is basically your hair just now when I, you want to draw there, okay? That's why I forbidden you to to crop them up there, okay? Because you can use basically those those kind of visuals that you develop your drawing back again, your hairline back again. See? Now I can draw basically the body itself because you don't have a right kind of posters there okay they can develop more interesting kind of look and feel from there See, all this kind of stuff there, okay when you saw how actually i draw them you need to practice la. you can expect to draw one day there okay and you become pro there right see do some research more and don't find only one particular kind of reference that you saw from your libraries and then you choose and you take your time to draw the right thing and you cannot get the right kind of result there try to find okay think like how I actually draw the foot there right thing if you close these pictures then you get your own caricatures mm -hmm. right here see you think yes okay. yeah you get it right now when I draw you actually right as a part of those caricatures there, it looks like you. Just now when you when you draw yourself, it doesn't look like you there, okay? I don't know why. Maybe because you're not draw properly, looking at your reference properly when you draw them. That's the problem that we have for most of the students there. Not only you she think I know basically it's hard for you to develop now, but is still there is always time for you to improve that okay so you need to draw properly this time that works on that then you will think about paint styles there now improve your line works and make sure you draw properly there okay okay all right any questions there guys anything that you want to include in our sessions over here Anything there, right? Just now, basically, you have seen how actually I execute them. Even though we have some sort of trouble, kind of connection just now, but I still can record the sessions there. So I can actually upload back again the sessions over there directly in our YouTube there, right, later on. And and that's basically one of the good things about OBS, right, because we still can continue recording the sessions there. Right? So the point is right now, improve your line works and drawing skill and proportions there right okay when you come to develop this caricature styles there okay 
so make sure you improve them first before you're going to add those paint styles there okay my paint style is in soft brushes i'm using layers there and try to get the right proper kind of highlight and shadow that's all there but all those kind of things were not going to be handy if you don't improve or you, you don't actually practice yourself this way okay so make sure you graduate in a more proper way this time and you can gain something from the lessons okay any questions any kind of inquiries there any kind of things that you want to throw back a bit to be directly before we dismiss i have the presidential box okay before you're going to exaggerate people's face try to work on your kind of line work step first basically it's not that quite hard there for you to develop this kind of paint styles there but the point is right now do you prepare yourself to learn properly those kind of character uh, those kind of line work step first the thing that you saw right now is only about the paint style but you saw the sketches line that they actually produced there to study the shape itself there right so yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can see there again. So improve though both kind of what we call that techniques and methods there first, and then you can paint there those kind of thing like this one. This kind of paint style, they we can use also those uh, hard round soft brushes there to work on that. It's not that quite hard there again. Basically, the method that I show you guys also, you can actually improvise to make it into this kind of paint styles. Okay, without any outline there again. But the point is right now. When you saw how actually they exaggerate this kind of uh, structures of those faces there, they actually using a very quite exaggeration kind of methods, but at the same time they have the features of those uh, faces okay to develop them right. Okay? But the point is right now before you're going to learn something from here, you have to prove first that you actually can use my methods there. Simple as that. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. So if you can actually using the basics method that i show you guys tonight then you actually can explore other things there okay because it takes time there guys okay to work on that okay you cannot actually just say that okay you can develop all this kind of stuff in one single night there okay but if you actually cannot actually develop those uh, what we call that those foundations the fundamentals kind of way of working there first how are you going to use uh, doing those kind of exaggeration kind of caricature styles there, like what you actually suggest right here that okay? they all about the skills that you can ask your skills back again you ask yourself whether you have that kind of skills or not to draw one of the questions there simple questions there can you draw properly if you can't draw properly you can have to go to basic step first this is all about exaggerate the shapes there Okay, for example, if I want to draw back again my faces there, right? Okay? From here. Before I'm going to exaggerate them, even though I'm using this one, I can exaggerate okay? because I'm show you guys basically one of those clear methods there, right? How to exaggerate faces using reference there, and then you continue to paint or whatever the, uh, styles that you're going to produce later on to, to work on that. But the point is right now. Can you exaggerate your face when you draw them there right how actually you're going to start to draw them okay let you see if i want to draw my faces i'm going to start with this kind of stroke there right to draw them okay okay you ask yourself back again can you actually produce this kind of drawing line there sarah If you can actually produce the same kind of methods like this one directly to draw them, that means you're ready enough to exaggerate other kind of styles that to work on it, okay? But also still have style, still need time that to work on. Always have that kind of what we call that uh, patience that to work on it, okay? To develop that kind of skill. There. So from here, you can actually write start to draw or paint uh, kind of method using the paint kind of methods that work there using the base colors and add some a more kind of tone dark kind of tones to work on there okay but i believe they can use these brushes that to work on that 
part round brushes it just basically the flows and then you can paint okay you can paint the right here and just the flows all the time that works on that simple as that right here it looks simple that okay, when i actually i saw I, when i actually write i show you guys how it works there but it's not going to be simple for you to get okay, to work on that that's why i give you guys one method step first to develop their your skills it will not take quite some time for you to understand okay if you practice the method that i show there at first and then that kind of method that you saw just now you actually can develop along the way to work on that because you can use also for other kind of what we call that assignments there for example right this kind of illustration style can be a part of your second assignment and your third assignments there right okay because they develop the character styles there using a reference using a subject matters or a person that okay to works on that okay so that's the things that are okay to works on it so there's always always have a process of developing your skills from one stage to another stage there okay thank you very much for giving me this uh what we call that the samples over here all right so i'm also following this guy there okay if i'm not mistaken there right hmm. yeah, i'm following there right so the thing is right now how actually you're going to apply can you see there right okay? how they draw those kind of structures there first the line with the sketch line before you yeah. like this one there right so all this kind of core kind of understanding based on those drawing line there first you understand your basic structures the, the core understand on the structures there then the paint style the light and shadows it's not that quite hard right okay, for you guys to execute that okay because you already understand how the structures work a lot of people doesn't know the structures work there that's why when they paint they try to imitate this kind of paint styles they won't be able to get the right kind of uh, what we call the direction of the strokes there why because the foundation is not strong as simple as that there. just ask yourself back again can you draw like this and one of the way that you guys can actually learn there okay you can actually write copy these images there right and then you start to draw la. okay draw that first there okay sometimes people can draw using this kind of shapes there right here first there to work on it and then you can use also this uh, particular kind of brushes there right and then construct those lines okay construct those lines there right here to work on it so everything basically came from the foundation of your drawings here okay to work on it if you have the proper kind of way of approaching your drawings you can draw whatever that you want right it's a matter of times and way that you're going to develop this kind of way of working there right okay we're talking about that so take a look back again on your draw all the time that it works on that there, right okay because some people's uh most people that i saw that okay, when they can actually paint even though they can paint correctly directly okay, but when they don't have that kind of core kind of skills that can develop those kind of line works there you can saw basically the paintings even though look quite nice but the proportion is wrong there, okay but for me in illustrations you have to know your level of skills there first because when you have you know the level of skills something you can draw something like this also can be part of illustrations there. call that a simplified style stylization of illustrations there okay now in the modern days of illustrations there's a lot of this very simplified kind of style graphical kind of looks there okay to work with those kind of illustrations there. then you actually can paint it right okay in, in whatever style that you want there, okay but the point is right now when you sketch it out your ideas as a designer there can you sketch in a more confident way and using the gestures line like this you just have to ask yourself there okay whether you have put those efforts to practice all the time okay? to work on that okay so other than that
Anyone else there? So she think that right, okay, please make sure that you actually if you cannot get it right for the first times, you have to practice more lah, to draw your face. That's why okay, when you draw your face, you can see where you can actually really, really can can put your focus to, okay, on your own zone there, okay, to develop your faces correctly. Okay, using the line that is there. Those are basically one of the simple tricks that I want to ask people to, okay. When people say, okay, oh, I can paint, I don't like to draw. Okay, fine. Try first, okay, to draw there, okay, first. You can see whether the skills were there or not, okay. And then the paint style will come later on there, okay, to work on that. Because when it comes to develop your ideas there as a designer, okay, I, because we treat our students not become a workers only there. We want the student to become a leaders that can be actually plan and develop the ideas as quick as possible there, okay. So, when you want to plan something for other people there, you don't have time basically to paint for other people there. But you need to find a very quick kind of ideas there and you sketch properly that looks like a designer kind of sketch. Not look like a, what you call that, a, a 12 year old kids basically want to visualize something for you there, okay? And draw without any confidence there. You cannot be able to actually use a very proper kind of gestures line at the same time to work on that. That's basically what you should be worried there. Okay? Because you want to give some ideas to people there. And you can sketch properly, even though it's not nice, but properly can show your confidence from there that you work on it. So that's how actually you develop your ideas more faster that you work on it. Okay, and then some of the tools, techniques, understanding on how to paint. If you cannot actually paint properly also, but you have that kind of understanding how to works, people cannot actually cheat on you there, okay? Even though you have one of the great illustrators who actually can work for you, but they quite very stubborn or lancy there, okay? For example, there, okay? But you the one to lead the projects, you can actually give some advice, for example, like this one, okay? Let's just say, uh, can you actually paint like this one? I really want you to paint like uh, like this particular enough stuff there, okay? And you say, I, I, can, I cannot do it, okay? If you cannot, right, okay? So you can actually show a little bit how it works, but not doing the whole job for them, there, okay? But you can show, okay, how about you can paint like this one, okay? I, because you, I saw basically you can draw like this one there, right? You can paint like this, okay? So, if I actually can paint for you, there, okay, but this is your job for me to, to, to develop more detailing from there. Otherwise, you have to give back in your kind of salaries to me, there, okay, to double up basically my efforts, there, okay? All these kind of things, you need to understand how it works there. Not basically, I just want you guys to be more perfectly known, there, okay? I never actually write uh, what we call that, look for perfections, but I always look for the proper and the right way to develop each student's kind of skill status. I never look for perfections in this. But a proper way and the right way for you to start to develop your skills. So I give you guys some samples there, some methods there, okay? That not only for in intermediate kind of students who advanced students can do that, okay? But beginners who actually need to learn back again how to improve their drawings can develop that kind of methods by using that kind of what we call the method that I showed you right okay? because those methods is to help students to see more better okay? to develop the things there right okay? the only thing that you lack because you don't practice your hands to draw properly and you don't actually look into those reference for example like this one okay? you only maybe there okay you only look into the paint style there but you don't look at those drawings around there okay they have been developed before that they paint there, okay? How they exaggerate and cut the shapes that okay, into a bit more, more structures kind of looks that okay, more simplified. Okay, they have the characters on the, on the on the design itself there. Right? You never look at that, okay? You never look at the, the whole analytical kind of details there. You only look only one perspective there, one position, one kind of point of view there. Okay, that's why you're not going to be improved here, because you only look into one single kind of perceptions there were okay for me i will look into the whole kind of process there, okay that this person can develop that before they pay that's those, those are the things that you have to practice all the time that okay, and think and improve and also understand your level of skills there right okay that you can actually provide for each particular kind of assignment simple as that
Okay. Be more ambitious, good, but make sure you know level of skills there. I know basically my level of skills and level of kind of understanding that I can actually can uh, what we call do for my work there. Okay. So I will not basically, even though if I want to jump into another styles there, I have to make sure one things I have more time to practice. Second thing is I can actually execute correctly. The third things right, how much they pay for us right? Okay, for me to work on that. If I have to spend five, three days to work on one illustration, it's not worth it, guys. Okay, that's why whatever that I show you guys, I can make it at least 30 minutes or half an hour there, or, may, or maybe more than that, or one hour, okay? But not more than, you know what? Maybe a few hours is okay for the details, okay? But not to spend for digital illustrations more than one day that to complete one illustration, there, guys. Okay. If you spend more than one day to complete one illustration, you waste a lot of time from there. And I'm not actually applied from that, from those practice there, right? Okay? So, be more realistic on your own self there, okay? And start to work on it. Okay, guys? Alright, you have any questions? Thank you very much for attending those kind of sessions tonight. Okay? And of course, right, okay, I'm really grateful if I can develop it more further later on okay, for our classes, right, okay? please uh, check the update also your, uh, what we call it out in my YouTube directory. Right, okay? So try to improve more on your drawings at the same time, try to gain something from the lessons there, okay? those are the more, most important things there, guys. So I've been looking forward to see Sarah, okay, she can also cheat in right, okay, on your progression is that right okay so thank you very much guys have a good evening there again okay? and thank you for joining and also i appreciate your time there okay and good luck and take care of yourself okay bye bye good night thank you sir okay welcome there right.